Disney Interactive Studios became a thing of the past as the video gaming branch of the Disney tree was terminated in 2016 alongside Disney Infinity. However, observant attendees of Friday's Disney X Marvel Video Game Expo detected indications that the company may have been resurrected. What possible indications entail a revival of the platform? Stay with me till the end of this video as I reveal to you all you need to know about this possible resurrection. Now without further delay, let's get into the video. First, what was revealed during the exhibition? During the exhibition, a variety of Disney projects such as Dreamlight Valley and Speedstorm were displayed, the majority of which had already been released on display previously. Nevertheless, the revelation of Illusion Island was a true shock. Even more baffling is the fact that Disney Interactive Studios looks to be discreetly producing the Nintendo Switch exclusive game. Cyberwolf JV of Reset Era pointed out that the Disney studio that had been cancelled can be seen on the Nintendo eShop page for Illusion Island, which appeared over the weekend. If you click on the Disney Interactive link on the Nintendo website, You'll be taken to a page with other games that Disney Interactive has worked on in the past, remasters of The Zombies Ate My Neighbors, and Disney Classics. The fact that those games are published by Disney Interactive makes sense since they are remastered versions of games that came out before the studio closed, but Illusion Island is a brand new game, so people think that Disney may have quietly brought back its video game business. Illusion Island seems to have been thought up in 2016, so it's possible that Disney Interactive worked on it before the studio closed. If Disney Interactive is back in business, Business, that could mean more remakes and remasters in the future, or just bringing back some of its most popular games on newer consoles. Toy Story 2 is in the PS Plus Premium Library, which suggests that other Disney Interactive PS1 classics like Hercules and Tarzan could be added in the future. In other news, Disney's live-action press is The Accelerator, news of The Little Mermaid, Snow White, and more. The Disney machinery does not reset in its work to provide bones, meat, and polygons to its animated classics. Disney's D23X Expo continues to provide news. Here we collect a few that have something in common. They tell us about the live action movies based on the company's animated classics that are yet to come. Disney had a slow decline for many years, but that started to change when The Little Mermaid became a huge hit in 1989. What followed was a dizzying rise that was fueled by continuous reinventions and additives. The acquisitions of Pixar, whose collaboration during the 90s made it clear that they could not let them escape, Marvel and Star Wars would make the founder of the iconic name cry with emotion. Let's discuss Disney's effort to revitalize modern classics and some older ones. After The Little Mermaid came Beauty and the Beast in 1990. Aladdin in 1992, The Lion King in 1994, these movies say it all. When Toy Story came out in 1995, it changed everything. Not just in the Mouse House, but in movies as a whole. After a long journey through the desert, what Disney did in those years is interesting to study. In an attempt to bring back those classics, Disney is committed to something that not everyone sees as necessary, turning those cartoon classics into live-action movies, although, well, CGI if we talk about The Lion King, for example, and it is questionable because the original films are eternal. Time does not pass for them and they dazzle young and old alike even as the years go by, so it looks like this movie does not meet a need of the public or business. The Lion King, Aladdin, Beauty and the Beast, and Lady and the Tramp have already come out, and remakes of The 101 Dalmatians and Pinocchio have just arrived. But what about what is to come? At the D23 Expo, we learned that Snow White will arrive in 2024, Rachel Zegler, the protagonist of Spielberg's West Side Story, will play the innocent girl, while Gal Gadot will put aside her superhero face in Wonder Woman to play the Bad Witch. To 2024 also goes the sequel to The Lion King Mufasa, and Peter Pan, which will arrive next year, has been seen in a nice poster. Finally, we have a trailer for The Little Mermaid, which stars Halle Berry and is more well known for having a set release date and a number of other things that are making people nervous. It's coming out on May 26, 2023. Disney owes a lot to the original movie, so we're sure that they will do their best. Next up, Rockstar Games confirms the leaks of GTA 6 and pronounces itself from disappointment to future plans. The company shows its sadness at what happened and ensures that it will not change its plans with Grand Theft Auto 6. It will present the game in due time. Through its social networks, Rockstar Games has issued a brief statement on the news of the week. 
the month, and maybe the year, the 90 leaked videos about Grand Theft Auto 6. In its statement, the company confirmed what was an open secret that the leaks really belonged to GTA 6 and makes the opportunity to clarify its roadmap within the game. After what happened, it seems that, in spite of everything, they will not alter their plans and will present it in society when it is ready. The first part of their letter reads that they have recently experienced an intrusion into their system and an unauthorized person is illegally acting accessed and downloaded info from their files, including material from the upcoming Grand Theft Auto in a state of early development at this time. They confirm that they do not anticipate this will cause disruption of the current service of their games or long-term effects on the development of the ongoing projects. Rockstar's note concluded that they are frankly disappointed that the details of their next game have been shared in this way. They also said that they work on the next Grand Theft Auto will continue as planned and that they remain committed to providing you the players with an experience that truly exceeds your expectation. They will have an update for everyone soon, and of course they will present the game when it's ready. They also use the opportunity to thank everyone for the support received in their situation. So, what are the consequences of the leak? The GTA 6 leaks may have more consequences than Rockstar admits. At first, it is clear that they will put the work course on standby for a few weeks, waiting to calculate the damage and see how much things have been leaked. Then it will probably make things harder for their employees at work, people will have less freedom to work from home, and more control and mistrust in the office. Of course, it will also take the wow factor out of the future announcements, add pressure to maintain certain proven features, and probably delay everything until the company makes sure that the source code is once again in its hands. Half-Life 2 had to deal with a similar problem for an extra year and a half. And in the middle of everything, people who don't know what a build or a game in development is are already giving their opinions and criticisms, the first gurus who complain about the graphics, the gameplay, and certain decisions and editions of this GTA 6 have already come out, as if they were explicit, as if they were unaware of the metaphor of the human body and the fact that all we really are witnessing is the skeleton, no one benefits from leaks. What's next? At the Disney and Marvel Games Showcase, the final release date for Marvel's Midnight Suns was announced. After several delays, you won't have to wait long to don the Blade or Wolverine uniforms. The Disney and Marvel Games Showcase showed that Disney video games are several rungs below their television television and film production, with much smaller budgets and more modest goals, the games it showcased off made use of the wide range of licenses it has. One of the surprises came at the hands of Marvel's Midnight Suns. After a couple of delays that made us think about possible internal development problems, a final date was finally revealed. It will be on December 2nd, and watch out with a planned release on PC, Xbox Series X slash S, and PS5. Indeed, it seems they have decided to release Ballast for the premiere and optimize resources. For now, the versions for the last generation, as well as for Switch, remain in limbo. If it is finally rejected to remove any of them, we doubt that it will be that of the successful Nintendo console. The game, based on the Midnight Suns comic published by Marvel in the early 90s of the last century, will put at your disposal iconic characters such as Spider-Man, Scarlet Witch, Captain America, Captain Marvel, Iron Man, or Doctor Strange, also having Ghost Rider, Wolverine, and Blade on the list. Warming up makes us dream of future films and TV projects that are yet to come. So that concludes today's video. If you found the video helpful, give us a thumbs up, and don't forget to share the video with your friends and family. Also, do let me know in the comments section what your favorite Disney video game is. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.